Hello everyone, welcome to Barpandi, your one-stop comprehensive bioinformatics trading platform. I am Shuman, your very own Barpandi. Here, I am going to talk about hydrogen bonding in water. Understanding the hydrogen bonding among water molecules is a crucial aspect of structural biology. Now, why hydrogen bonding is so important? Because it is the molecular origin of hydrophobic effect. Water molecules consist of an oxygen atom and two hydrogen atoms. Hydrogens are covalently bonded with the oxygen. The oxygen nucleus attracts all the electrons much stronger than single protons of each of the hydrogen atoms. This is why electron cloud around the oxygen atom is 10 times denser than that around the hydrogen, causing the oxygen to obtain a 0.671 unit partial negative charge and each hydrogen to obtain a 0.335 unit partial positive charge. This gives rise to a molecular dipole moment of 1.095 dy that you can see here. These partial charges cause weak electrostatic interactions between the hydrogen and oxygen atoms of two different water molecules. This weak electrostatic attraction is the basis of the hydrogen bonds. Hydrogen bonding causes the collective ground state of liquid water to have an energy lower than the ground state found in the single gaseous molecule. Let me show you a hydrogen bond, which is highlighted in green here. In liquid water, all water molecules have at least one hydrogen bond to neighboring water molecules. You can say that effectively, there are no free water molecules under ambient conditions. Now, water consists primarily of a mixture of clusters of water molecules with different degree of hydrogen bonding in an equilibrium. Take a look here. These are equilibrium water cluster sustained by hydrogen bonds. We have shown you some clusters ranging from 4 water molecules to 280 water molecules. Theoretically, there is no upper limit of water molecules that can form a cluster. But in general, thermal fluctuations, presence of foreign molecules, acid and bases continuously break these clusters. Now here are some additional facts about hydrogen bonds which you should remember. First, hydrogen bonds are strongest when they are linear. Theoretically, Hydrogen bond angle can vary from 0 to 90 degree. The longer the bond length, the lower the bond energy. In structural biology, we generally consider a hydrogen bond if the distance between the donor and the acceptor atom is less than 3.4 angstrom in 3D space. And the donor, hydrogen and acceptor angle is less than 90 degree. So, this is all for now guys. For further information on structural biology, please keep watching the other videos of Biopandit. Please feel free to contact us in biopandit at the gmail.com and in our Facebook page with suggestions, requests for videos and asking for technical help. If you like our video, hit the like button and if you find it helpful, please share with your friends. You know that so far we have uploaded videos that focus only on the conceptual aspects of bioinformatics. But make no mistake, we are not going to stop here. We are going to upload a lot of technical videos that describes the use of computational tools and programs for various bioinformatics analysis. If you learn these techniques, I can promise you, you can address specific biological problems yourselves. So for the upcoming updates, please subscribe to our channel and like our Facebook page. Bye guys, see you soon.